One person died and 13 people were wounded by a Russian drone in a residential area in the Ukrainian port city of Odessa overnight, local officials said Saturday, as EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell arrived in Kiev to discuss European support for Ukraine. Odessa Regional Governor Ola Kuyper said high-rise residential buildings, private houses and warehouses were damaged by the fall of a drone. He did not specify whether the drone had been shot down by air defenses. A further 32 Russian drones were shot down over 10 Ukrainian regions, while 18 were lost, according to Ukraine's air force, likely having been electronically jammed. A Russian aerial bomb struck a busy highway overnight in the northeastern Kharkiv province, Kharkiv Mayor Ayer Terekhov said. No casualties were reported. Russia is mounting an intensified aerial campaign that Ukrainian officials say they need more Western help to counter. However, doubts are deepening over what Kyiv can expect from a new U.S. administration. President-elect Donald Trump has repeatedly taken issue with U.S. aid to Ukraine, made vague vows to end the war and has praised Russian President Vladimir Putin. Burrell, however, reassured Ukraine of European support as he arrived in Kyiv on Saturday. EU support to Ukraine has been my personal priority during my mandate and will remain on top of the EU's agenda," he wrote on X. In Russia, the defense ministry said 50 Ukrainian drones were destroyed over seven Russian regions, more than half over the Bryansk region, bordering Ukraine. Ми спали собі спокійно, проснулися від того, що був від звуку битого скла. Воно все попадало, ми з дитиною злякалися. Муж чоловік побіг, побіг на вулицю. Думали, що так трошки, але потім почався пожар. At least 25 people were injured following a Russian strike in Kharkiv in the early hours of Friday morning. According to local officials, preliminary inspections showed it was a KAB guided aerial bomb that hit a 12 story apartment building, causing damage. Five people were hospitalized, and the search operation is still underway, according to the city's mayor Ayer Terekov. The State Emergency Service of Ukraine shared a video showing of rescuers at the site, evacuating local residents. Сьогодні росіяни черговий раз атакували цивільну забудову. Влучання маємо в другий поверх 12-ти поверхівки. Житлова забудова. Тут люди в той час спали. О 3.30 
росіяни атакували. Маємо інформацію попередньо, це керована авіабомба ФАП. Маємо інформацію, що це 500-кілограмова бомба з УМБК. The Ukrainian armed forces have staged a real rout of the Russian army in the area of the settlement of Belogorovka in the Saversky direction. The video of the failed Russian assault by the Russian armed forces appeared on social networks. Russian Z channels sadly report that the brigade commander of the 123rd Brigade of the 2nd Corps of the LPR with the call sign Kashtan destroyed several battalions of the Russian army in a poorly planned assault. In the wake of the Russian army's massive losses near Belogorovka, indignation is growing in military telegram channels and propaganda channels in Russia. According to reports, the unprepared assault in the Seversk direction led to heavy losses, causing a wave of criticism of the actions of the Russian command. The videos published by the Ukrainian armed forces show how the Russian army, unsupported by fire, suffered significant losses among personnel and equipment. Several battalions were completely destroyed, which caused strong indignation even among Z channels, which usually support Russian actions. An offensive without fire support doomed the attack to failure. We suffered huge losses in tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, many fighters were killed, even more were wounded. One of the reports emphasized, it is also reported that the Russian command left wounded soldiers on the battlefield without organizing their evacuation. Five days have passed since the end of hostilities, and many of the wounded have died without receiving medical care. Major Russian military telegram channels criticize the command, pointing out that this failure was inevitable due to the unpreparedness of the attack and the lack of support. Recall units of the 10th Separate Mountain Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces repelled a large mechanized assault by Russians in the Donetsk region. The Russian assault consisted of 22 units of combat equipment, including tanks at the head of the columns, as well as tracked and wheeled armored personnel carriers with personnel inside. These columns were promptly detected by aerial reconnaissance of the 10th Brigade, which in a short time deployed all means to destroy enemy equipment. At first, to stop the enemy assault, the brigade used FPV drones, which successfully hit Russian equipment, including armored personnel carriers. When the infantry began to leave the damaged vehicles, drones with grenades began to operate on their cluster, causing significant losses in personnel. According to aerial reconnaissance estimates, the Russians involved about 120 soldiers in the assault. To defeat and destroy heavy equipment, the Ukrainian armed forces used anti-tank missile systems, which hit several enemy combat vehicles, including tanks. Also, the advancing enemy columns were covered with artillery, which helped stop them on the approach to the Ukrainian armed forces positions. Overall, thanks to high quality preparation for defensive actions, they managed to destroy 15 armored vehicles, including six tanks and nine infantry fighting vehicles. The enemy's losses among manpower amounted to 19 killed and 23 wounded.